cabinet many years ago, when the steady rise in gas prices saw the gas subsidy in oil prices, sorry, saw the gas subsidy climb towards 1.5 billion. Even then, it was understood that this is not something to be ignored or encouraged, and the plan to get out of this selection, this selection of expenditure as a priority was devised and executed then. The plan contained the use of CNG, subsidized conversion kits, and at least one increase in the price of diesel and other fuels. For a variety of reasons, Mr. Speaker, this plan did not work well in some aspects, and it didn't work at all in other aspects. In recent years, the dramatic increase in the price of oil from $50 to $125, stabilizing around $100 upper barrel, so the subsidy ballooned to over $4 billion per year. There is general agreement that this is not sustainable, especially in the face of record levels of growing debt and deficit financing on the national budget. Something has to be done. The Minister of Finance, one of whom we waited so patiently, came with a plan. The same old plan, CNG, conversion kits, and an ill-defined price increase. It should have been clear to all involved that migration of motorists from premium to super would have occurred, resulting in effect on the actual subsidy. Since the super is now selling in larger volumes, it is still all subsidized. They only buy the fuel from a different pump the pump with the subsidy. So really in effect, if it was affecting only 6% and they go into the pump with the subsidy, it's an non event. What is needed now, Mr. Speaker, is a well thought out, properly financed or incentivized program designed to change the fuel consumption pattern of the entire country. This will not be achieved in a timely manner, using a little tinkering here and a little deceptive price increase here and there. If CNG is determined to be the fuel of the future, then government needs to invest in a sufficiency of CNG fuel stations in neighborhoods in a set time frame with best technology. It has to be funded and funded against a specific program, a national changeover program. Incentives for new car buyers to choose CNG or hybrid vehicles over old models must form part of an integral program of that nature. As it stands now, Mr. Speaker, the current plans will not meet any targets. None of the targets are that we can recognize in any time frame. And all that will happen is that fuel users will migrate to subsidized super with consequent damage to some vehicles, which the current tinkering policy mischievously describes as luxury vehicles. In some instances, what may be saved in fuel costs by the owner at the pump could easily be lost in higher maintenance or replacement charges. Mr. Speaker, incidentally, there is a view that the subsidy margin, and maybe the minister could advise us here, I'm advised that the subsidy margin on super gasoline is wider than the margin on premium. And if that is so, it is highly likely that switching from use of premium to super will actually increase the cost of the fuel subsidy because you are now pushing people who think they're saving to be using a fuel that you're paying more subsidy on. 